Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and today you're joining me on board good old narrowboat Abel's Ark or at least for these few seconds you are because we're actually about to hop off the boat and walk down the towpath on well what I can only describe as literally a rubbish walk and you may be puzzling over why I would describe it as such especially with this amazing early autumn scenery at the time of recording well it's because we are literally taking two bags of rubbish with us to uh, some skips so basically we're on the Langoflin canal here we're gonna walk just down and around the corner then past the Frankton locks which are the start of the Montgomery canal and then we're gonna walk along there only a short way to a skip that is next to some other boat services just on the side of the canal and then we'll walk our way back up with the sun setting very rapidly and as I say in so many of my videos it's scenery like this that makes just the most mundane things such as this taking a couple of bags of rubbish to the nearest skips it makes it into a little event of its own accord even though it is i mean it doesn't get more boring surely than taking the rubbish out you can see here we've got your traditional black and white buildings at the top locks here this is a staircase lock the first lock from the Langoflin Canal onto the Montgomery and I don't know why I insisted on putting the bin bags in so many of these shots I think it was almost the uh, I felt that I needed to illustrate that I really was taking the rubbish to the skips as it's a long way to the next uh, disposal point unless I uh, spin the boat around and head back up to Ellesmere um, so as you can see it's just the sort of stuff that I talk about in my videos if you've watched any of my other boat life videos that it's just amazing countryside in this part of the world. You're right on the border with Wales here, and so you've just got this mixture of amazing flat countryside, sort of looking into the plains of Shropshire, and then because we're on the border with Wales, you've got the sort of low hills. Here are the skips, just uh, for reference. Again, the most scenic sort of part of this video, I'm sure. <laughs> but because of the location on the border of Wales you've got the the low hills that lead up to the bigger Welsh mountains on one side and then all of this incredible flat land on the other and it's having all of this flat countryside that allows you to have a huge stretch of canal between Whitchurch and St Martins where there's not a single lock speaking of interesting canal features this little stretch here that ends just by that brick building used to be the line that would lead you to Shrewsbury I think it was called the Western Branch if I'm uh, correct don't quote me on that name off the top of my head but I think that's what it was um, and obviously now sadly it only goes maybe a hundred feet or so and is used as a, a bit of mooring spot and uh, spaces Anyway, uh, getting back on our trip up, these are the Frankton Locks again, obviously, as seen from the other side. And as I just pointed the camera at a couple of trees then, you can see in this sort of early autumn period, I think this was mid to late October that this was filmed, you can see how all the berries are on the trees. and There seems to be an awful lot of berries on the trees at the minute, so I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, traditionally the old wives tales and superstitions what that would for forbear about the winter ahead hopefully it's not going to be too harsh as my my first winter back on a boat after two years on dry land but as i mean these little scenes that one caught me out when that popped up i mean how fantastic is that the the glare of the sun practically sat on the ground there creating the silhouettes of the trees and the hedgerows and stuff and still barely a cloud in the sky you can imagine as, as i say it was a very very chilly time don't get me wrong a beautiful environment but it caught me off, it caught me out how uh, cold it was going to be especially uh, walking back and you can imagine how this led to a really really cold evening as well but a clear sky with very little light pollution fantastic seeing stars that you Never, oh, that I never saw when I was living in the middle of Oswestry, the nearby small town. And yeah, 
ultimately as Abel's Ark is back in sight I should wrap this up and say thank you so much for tuning in please do subscribe hit the notification bell so that YouTube will actually tell you when I post a new video and uh, please do check out all of my boat life videos from Abel's Ark and my smaller boat that I used to live on in the past Narrowboat Tilly if you'd like to know more or help me out a bit then please consider checking out my short books available for the Kindle as a paperback and one of them even as a short audio book that I narrated myself you'll find links to those in the description as well as Facebook and all that sort of stuff but until the next time my friends just have an absolutely fantastic day keep it interesting keep it boat worthy and of course my friends farewell <laughs>